name is Jermaine with Cypress Learning, and today I will be showing you how to enable Einstein Activity Capture and also connecting your Gmail account to Salesforce. So to start off, we will go into Setup, and then we will go assign the permission set. So if you just type in permission in the quick find, select permission sets. And then we will select the standard Einstein activity capture permission set. Click on manage assignments. Then click add assignments. And then you would select the user who you want to add. Then click assign. Then click done. And then in a quick find, we would go and type in Einstein activity. Oh, sorry. And under Einstein activity capture, you click on settings and then you click get started. And then check this box that I'm authorized by my company to accept these terms and then click next. And you can connect your uh, Google G Suite email account or your Microsoft Exchange 365 or Microsoft Exchange. But today we will just be connecting the Gmail. So we will leave that one selected, hit next, and we will give it a name. So we can say Gmail and Salesforce sync. And you can give it a description if you like. Also make sure this active box is checked. Then we hit next. And if you notice here, now emails are enabled. So that means emails will be syncing back and forth between Gmail and Salesforce. Also the events is enabled. So all your calendar events will be syncing and it's set up for uh, to sync both directions. And also your contacts is set up to sync both directions. And we'll just hit next. And then you just select the user. and then hit next. And then here you can add an email address that you wanna exclude. So you can either add the domain or you can actually add the individual email address here. And then we'll click next. And here, this is your sharing settings. So you can choose to share with everyone or you can choose don't share. And so this is what others will see in your Salesforce org. So for this, demo purposes, we'll just select share with everyone and we'll say next. And now when we're ready to launch, we just hit finish. All right. So the configuration has been created. Now, if we go ahead and just refresh your browser, you'll notice here at the top, it says we're getting ready, getting Einstein ready for you. So in order to connect your Gmail, you can click on the picture up in the upper right hand corner, go into settings. And then just type in Einstein. And then under sharing settings, you have your sharing settings here. Okay, so I have refreshed my browser and now under sharing settings, it's giving me an option to connect my Gmail account. So we'll go ahead and hit connect account and connect account. And just check this box that said I've read and understand these terms, hit next. And we're connecting the Gmail account. So I will select connect my Google account. And then I will select the Google account and then select allow. And now your account is connected. So the next thing you need to do is go over. I would just recommend doing a Google search for the Salesforce Google Chrome extension and you will install that extension. Once you've installed that extension, go into your Gmail. You probably have to do a refresh but once you do a refresh, you have the option here on the right hand side to connect your account. If you notice mine is already connected, but yours will have the option to connect account. You will hit that button, sign into Salesforce, and then you will connect your Gmail account to your Salesforce account, and then you're done. So I hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching.